Guys, thanks for watching Everyday Ready. Joel here. So today we're talking about ropes, how to care for them, a couple ways to carry them, and one knot. All right, so this looks like just standard rope. It's not. If you've been in the climbing community at all, which I was a lot of years ago, not in my current shape. Now this is called a dynamic rope. Dynamic because it has some stretch to it so that when climbers are up on a rock wall, and they happen to fall, there's some give or some stretch in the rope, helps protect the climbers. The other option is static rope, which is often used for just straight up rappelling or uh, caving or things like that. Static rope does not stretch. Now there's some things you wanna do to care for your rope. Number one is you don't wanna get it super dirty. So anytime you're gonna be using a high quality, expensive rope, like this, and ropes of these natures can go for like $200 these days. You wanna put some sort of a tarp or a ground cloth down to make sure that no dust and little rocks get worked in between the fibers to start breaking down the rope, and just help it last longer. So that's your first tip. Uh, second one is how to stack a rope. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna take one end of that rope and we're just gonna start stacking it from one place to the other, all right? so. Just like this, right on top of each other, but it just keeps the rope from getting tangled. You make sure that there's no tangles in it before you actually start using your climbing rope. Next thing I wanna do is show you how you can carry your rope. If you don't have a bag or a pack or something for it to fit in, and you've seen you know, people just kind of make big loops of rope like this all the way along, and then you can just you know, put an arm through and a head through, uh, but there's a, a way that's kind of cool and fun and it, it actually works better for if you're going to be scrambling up surfaces or need to make sure that rope doesn't get in your way. It is called the butterfly coil. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what we want to do is we want to take both ends of the ropes. We're going to find both ends. Okay. And then we are going to stack the rope out to the middle of the rope. So I want to keep those lengths about the same if I can help it. This is you know, in theory, close to the middle. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to basically measure from my neck down to my waist and put that on one side. And then I am going to stack this going the other direction. I'm gonna go from here to here. Try to keep these lengths about the same if I can help it. Now you wanna leave some tail down here. And then we're gonna go around the rope several times up through where your hand is, that makes a loop, and we're going to take the rope and put it through again. All right, now that you've got your rope coiled like this, you're going to take these two ends that are loose, those become backpack straps. We're going to take this and put it on, okay, and we're just going to wrap this across our chest and around the back, grab the ends, and tie them here. Now you've got a way to carry your rope. That way you've got your hands free and all that kind of stuff. So there's another rope tip. All right, the figure eight. So you take one end of rope, and you leave yourself about, oh, five feet or four or five feet of rope here. The way that I like to do this is I take the rope here and I cross over the main line. I pull it under and then I put the tail down through, and I've got the figure eight. So once you get to that point, you're gonna go around, you know, through your climber's harness, or uh, around a tree, or whatever it might be, and then you're gonna take this tip here, the tail, and you're gonna start retracing this line all the way back around through. And I'm gonna show you how to clean up this knot as well. So I start by pushing this side over, I go up through. Again, I'm retracing my original figure eight. So I'm coming around, I'm going down, around the main line here and up through. Now what you've got is a huge mess and a jumble here. We need to clean that up because you don't want any of the, the strands crossing over the top of any of the other strands. It actually weakens the knot. So I'm actually gonna push this guy below and pull and pull all four lines of the rope here to make sure that I've got a clean figure eight knot. And then you can do what's called a stopper knot. 
just wrap a couple of times around here or a barrel knot and up through just to make sure that nothing slides back on itself. All right, guys, thanks for watching today. Hopefully you were able to learn something from that. Um, sometimes you don't know what you don't know. And so a little bit of rope technique today, a little bit of rope tips. Hopefully that helps you be everyday ready for the adventures you choose and the emergencies you don't. Thanks for watching.